you've talked about how thoughts and moods show up in your skin. So it's not telegraphing, but what is it, what's it doing since I don't have neon on my forehead? Well, some of us do. I've been told that right. I can't hide a thought, <laughs> that it shows up on my face. That means you're a very honest person. That's a good thing. Oh, thank you. But beyond that, really, our thoughts or the way that we manage stress absolutely shows up on our skin. There's this hormone called cortisol. It's really, um, it's part of our healthy hormone production to have cortisol. So when we're stressed or we need some energy, our adrenal glands trigger certain hormones to give us that energy. And so cortisol is one of those. And throughout the day, um, it's released and we respond and then we get to relax. But in today's world with cell phones and crazy deadlines and um, everything being needed ASAP, we seem to be surging cortisol all the time. When cortisol increases, it breaks down our collagen. Now our collagen is that stronger than the steel matrix that holds our face together. So you know, think about the sagging cheeks, the sagging mm -hmm. eyes, and all that sagging. Mm -hmm. um, that's because we're not making enough co collagen or our collagen is being broken down. So our thoughts and not managing our stress, causing our cortisol to increase, can cause our skin to sag. Wow, interesting. And does the sagginess vary as we age? Does it, do my bad habits when I'm young make me more vulnerable when I'm older? Or does it not matter at all, Sarah, because you just have to manage your stress no matter how old you are every day, every week? So I think um, it can be a, a collection of things, right? So it can be like we're in a really stressful time and then we do have some collagen breakdown, so it shows up immediately on our face. But certainly over time, there have been these studies of identical twins. One was raised in a really nice household and the other one had kind of a stressful life. You look at the skin of the one who led the stressful life and it's really wrinkled and sagging. Mm. And so that was a cumulative effect. And other times we're under a lot of stress in our lives and you know, you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, something is definitely not right because it's showing on your skin. You have lax skin and so the collagen is breaking down over time and also you have these acute times. Interesting. So, you know, we've written so many articles about stress management mm -hmm. and the impact of stress on your health. So basically, stress management, breathing techniques, yes. whatever you can do to be aware of that fight or flight that we live in all the time. Exactly, right. So it's not one size fits all. Everyone has to find what works for them. You know, maybe it's exercise, maybe it's mindful technique, maybe it's listening to music, but just finding that time for you and recognizing when you're stressed and taking the time to settle it down. Excellent. Thanks, Ginger. You're welcome.